Hello, welcome back to the channel. You're watching Shane. Oh look, before we begin, let me fill you in on what's happening. We are Shane and Annie and we have been building our Volkswagen T25 for the last year. After taking it on many trips around Ireland, now it's time to explore Europe. Are we crazy for doing this in a 40 year old van? Absolutely. Follow us because it will be an adventure. I know we've been away for some time, but a lot has changed. And in this episode, our adventure starts. So we are taking Fergus from Ireland all the way over Spain to do a European road trip. So right now we're in the port of Roslare, where we're going to be getting our ferry first thing tomorrow morning. So we'll park here for the night. We're going to camp here and then get up bright and early, head over there to the boat and set sail for Spain. So let's adventures begin. So we are camping here at the board and uh, we're right beside the check-in area which is literally there there's a ferry leaving at the minute and then that just means that tomorrow morning we're right beside it because it's our first time taking a ferry so we just wanted to make sure that, <laughs> that we were getting on it uh, it was quite confusing to go in we were like lost we almost checked in for, <laughs> for that ferry wherever it's going um so yeah we're just parking right beside it and tomorrow it should be good enough and since we are parked at the port um, I might as well explore the beach. I think there's a wee access here to a beach so let's see what it looks like. This may or may not have been a good idea because I don't know how I'm gonna get the sand off my feet and the salt water. Oh well it was worth it because I have the place for myself. Go. Checking into the ferry was honestly one of the easiest things to do. Because we parked at the port, we only had a third second drive to check in. We were given which lane to park and that's all you need to do. So we've made it to our queue, we're in lane 12. That's our... That's for our cabin. Huh. That's our tickets. Uh, in lane 12 there's only... There's Spanish caravan in front of us. So now we're just waiting. What time is it? We have like a two hour wait, I think, for, to eat. before we can actually board the, the boat. So, Fergus made it all the way to the boat. Next stop, speed. Around quarter past 10, they gave us the go ahead to begin boarding. Lanes 1 to 12 were for Bilbao, so we were one of the last people to board, which turned out to be very convenient. Luckily, we didn't have to drive to the top because we all know how much Fergus hates hills. Once in the boat, we had to follow the cruise directions to where we were to park. Then, it was time to gather up and head upstairs. See you in Spain! After checking in, it was time to stand outside in the beautiful Irish weather and take in the views of the Irish coast for the last time. Honestly, when Ireland gets the weather, it's incredible. So we just set sail from Ireland and we're probably like five minutes ago, so we're en route to Spain. This is our first time on the boat, do you feel it? I know, yeah, yeah, I was just going to say that. This is going to be interesting, so let's see what we get up on the boat and it's going to be a long 26 hours. Let's go. After exploring for two minutes, we quickly realized we had nothing to do. We grabbed a seat and relaxed in the sun for as much as we could. While Shane went in searching for Wi-Fi to check our Instagram, follow us on Instagram at Shane and Annie Van Life, I went out to read and was greeted by a pot of dolphins swimming alongside the ferry. Let me give you a quick tour of the ferry. You can walk outside around the whole boat. We'll go into the common area where there is a TV, loads of chairs and tables, a bar and a self-service restaurant that only opens at certain times. Going upstairs, this is where the cabins are. We were on the right hand side of the boat. This is our cabin. It's a bit messy after spending over 20 hours in such a small space. These cabins are for four people. It has two beds and two bunk beds. This is the bathroom. It's small, but it has everything you need, except a hard dryer.
After 28 hours of sailing, we finally arrived into the port of Bilbao, and the heat was intense. Time to go get Fergus. There he is. Remember how we said we were one of the last to board the boat? That meant we were the first of the boat. Exiting the boat was pretty simple. We just had to follow the directions from the port crew and landed at passport control. And now you have to go Once after passport control, we just had to follow the arrows which led us onto the Spanish highway. This is Ferry's first time on the Spanish roads and Shane's first time driving the wrong car on the opposite side. We left the Basque country and crossed into Cantabria and we will be visiting some friends before continuing on. It was only a short 30 minute drive from the Port of Bilbao to our first stop on our Spanish road trip. So we've made it to the first stop of our Spanish road trip. We made it after 28 hours of sitting on the boat being bored stupid and then after that we had a 30-40 minute drive to our first destination which is just a small town on the edge of the Basque Country and we're going to be staying here for a couple of days just getting a few things ready for the van, meeting up with some friends and family and then we're going to be heading west towards Galicia where we're going to continue on our Spanish road trip. Yep, yeah, so a couple of tips for going on the ferry would be first of all bring coins with you to be able to buy water and some food on the vending machines on the vending machines because they are very old just like the whole boat the boat is 15 years old so it's very outdated yeah so bear down in mind bring coins with you because there's one vending machine really old and really expensive it's three euro for a tiny bottle of water so just bring loads of coins another one would be download loads of stuff uh, on a tablet or bring a book with you or something some sort of entertainment because there's nothing to do for 28 hours, literally what? nothing. Another tip would be to bring loads of food with you because the restaurant in the boat only opens for two hours a day and then another two hours for dinner, was for it? Dinner, two hours yeah. for lunch and two hours for dinner. And the food is really dear and terrible. Like it's we met people in the boat that they said that they didn't know what meat they ate. One person thought it was lamb, the other thought it was turkey. Yeah. So the, the food is terrible, way overpriced, 13 euro 13 for a bowl of pasta. Drinks are three euro. It's it's very very hard expensive. to get as well. Very hard to get. Yeah. And another tip would be to bring European plugs because when we got into the room, there was no plugs there to charge our phones or laptops. So just bear that in mind. Luckily, we had power banks, so we were fit to keep our devices charged and have some sort of entertainment for 28 hours. So just bear all those in mind if you are coming from Rosslare over to Bilbao in the near future. A last tip would be if you intend to wash your hair. There's no hair dryer. Bring, bring a hair dryer. Yeah, there was a, a passenger in the boat trying to get a hair dryer, and they, they just said like they, they didn't even have any to no. lend. Yeah, so. So that finished up our first video of our Spanish road trip. I know it's been pretty short. Uh, we spent 28 hours on a boat, so there's not much we could do. But we're going to stay here for a couple of days, and then we're going to be continuing west towards Galicia. So stay tuned for that there. And as always, don't forget to hit the like button, share, subscribe. The channel's going pretty well so far, we're getting getting close to that 1000 mark so please if you do like hit the subscribe button and until the next video, thanks for watching and we'll see you then. Bye! Bye.